Legends in cricket are created through hard work, dedication, and exceptional performances. They have spent countless hours in training, overcoming challenges, and delivering outstanding results. In the world of cricket, comparisons to legends are both a blessing and a curse, especially for young players. Prithvi Shaw, a young prodigy from India, burst onto the scene in 2017 when on his first class debut for Mumbai in semi finals of the 2016 17 Ranji Trophy scored a century in the second innings of the match. He earned another distinction by scoring a century in his debut match in Dilip Trophy, equaling the record held by Jim Tendulkar, century each on debut for Ranji and Dilip trophies. Same year, Shaw was named captain of India's squad for the 2018 Under-19 World Cup, where he led India to victory, beating Australia by 8 wickets in the finals. The media couldn't resist drawing parallels between Shaw and iconic Sachin Tendulkar. And why not? After all, Sachin Tendulkar have retired from cricket. Comparison was inevitable. After all, Sachin was not just a cricketing icon, but a symbol of hope and inspiration to millions of people in India. Shaw's rise was meteoric, and fans were eager to witness the next little master in action. On the back of impressive performances in the domestic setup and under-19 World Cup, Shaw began his international career in a test match against West Indies in home series in 2018. Playing in his debut match, Shaw smacked a century and became the youngest Indian player to hit a century on debut and second youngest player to hit a century after Sachin Tendulkar. But what went wrong for him? In 2017-18, he was called the next Sachin and in 2023, he is almost forgotten. The once promising future now seemed clouded with doubt. Let's decode and analyze in the video. Fisher, despite having an impeccable record in first class with 3,623 runs at an average of around 52 with 12 hundreds and 15 fifties, couldn't justify his first class performances in international career and have played only 5 tests, 6 ODIs and only 1 T20Is for India since 2018. The major problems of such a contrasting career in international cricket can be categorized in 4 types. Injury and fitness, inconsistency and flawed technique, controversies and disciplinary issues, and lack of opportunities. In such a small international career, Shaw suffered with numerous injuries and fitness issues due to his poor lifestyle. In 2018, Shaw suffered a left ankle injury while attempting a catch at the boundary ropes in a tour game against Cricket Australia 11. Post-scans reports revealed a lateral ligament injury which ruled him out of the Australian series. In 2019, Shaw suffered a hip injury during Mumbai T20 League and was ruled out of West Indies Tour. In 2020, during a Ranji match between Karnataka and Mumbai, Shaw suffered a shoulder injury while diving to save an overthrow. During IPL seasons as well, Shaw suffered with injuries and illness and bearing 2019 edition, he never played the full quota of his matches. The time progress for Shaw became apparent. Shaw encountered consistent performances and struggled against high-quality bowling attacks. Shaw was given the opportunity to open for India during India's Tour of New Zealand series in 2020, ahead of Shumman Gill. But he failed to capitalize on the opportunity and Tim Southey and co. exploited his flawed technique where Shaw was exposed to in-swing deliveries throughout the series and was only able to score 98 runs in the series. Same happened with the Void Ball series as well. The same continued to happen with him during the Australian series as well and was exploited by Mitchell Stark and Pat Cummins. He had a disappointing match with scores of 0 and 4 and later on was dropped for the rest of the series. Many experts like Ponting and Simon Dool pointed out the flaw in his technique. His technique is not great, mm. um, you know, and, and that need, that's something that you can get away with it against other kids, yeah. you know. The back foot instantly goes league side and he hasn't fixed that at all. And, and I mean, I'm not fully qualified to talk about it, but I've heard quality batsmen. His recent 2023 IPL form showed his inconsistency and was only able to play eight matches, scoring only 106 runs in the tournament. In this such a short career, 
Shaw was also surrounded by controversies and disciplinary's action due to his lifestyle, habits and ignorance. In 2019, Shaw made headlines for testing positive for a banned substance during a routine doping test. He publicly acknowledged his mistake and expressed regret, stating that it was an accidental mistake, citing the ignorance of the substance presence in an over-the-counter cough syrup he had consumed. In 2021, He was involved in a minor controversy where he was stopped and questioned by the police for breaking down lockdown rules and traveling to Goa for vacation without the e-pass. In February 2023, Shaw was involved in another controversy when Shaw was allegedly attacked for refusing a selfie following an argument with a social media influencer Sapna Gill. Last but not the least reason for Shaw's disappearance from international cricket. is lack of opportunities due to large pool of indian openers already available for selection with the likes of shubman gill and ishan kishan who have done well with the opportunities given to them and few like rutraj gaikwad and jaswal are in queue waiting for their opportunities with rohit and kl rahul being the first choice openers the selectors are not keen to add more openers to the pool Can the flamboyant and dynamic opener make come back to the Indian team? There's a bit of uncertainty to that, as it looks like the likes of Gill, Gaikwad, and Jaswal will be given the first preferences, owing to their recent form. But this should not be the end of Prithvi Pankaj Shaw, who, in recent times, has improved his batting technique and habits, and among runs at the domestic level. He is only 23 and have long career ahead. and with the current indian team aging he is bound to get his chance i personally believe he has a match winner in himself and through consistency he can be a regular in team india let me know your thoughts guys whether he can be a regular in team india or not and please hit the like and subscribe button for more future contents for cricket till then goodbye